shop steward of the Dunn Stores anti-apartheid strike. We were 10 young women and one young man and we got a union instruction not to handle produce of apartheid South Africa. strike we knew very little about South Africa but we knew that this was solidarity with a people that was oppressed for decades and decades of years. We continued that strike and that strike led to the first country in the Western world banning South African produce. The strike lasted two years and nine months and at the beginning of the strike we had very little support. But as time went on, we gathered more and more support. And we had marches like this every weekend in Dublin and around the country. And when you hear the Irish government and other governments and politicians around the world saying that we can't do anything, they're wrong because we can. Ten young women and one young man. initially just to get the right for us not to handle apartheid goods but in that fight we decided that that was not enough we needed the whole country with us and we forced the Irish government to be the first country in the Western world to ban South African goods our strike started or lasted for two and a half years two years and nine months and after that strike, in less than four years, Mandela was released from prison and South African people had the right to vote. So when you think you can't change things, you can. I never thought that on the 40th anniversary of the Dunn Store strike, which is this year, that I would be standing here and watching absolute genocide happening in Israel. And that is what we are seeing. Palestine. <laughs> we are seeing the Israeli Zionist state murder Palestinians, wiping out half of Gaza and then forcing them into a small enclave. We have watched 30,000 people on our TVs being murdered by Israel. I am calling on the Irish government to expel the Israeli ambassador now. Free, free, free Palestine! 